Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel. And if possible, could you please join our Patreon page? We really need your help. It's been a long, hard road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. I'm down here in Tubigan and Bohol. And I thought Talaboon was crazy. This place is insane. I'm on a back road off the main road. <laughs> but on the other side of this park, it's a zoo. Over by McDonald's and beyond to the port. I'll see if I can turn that way. I get up here by the highway again. It's just it's an absolute free for all here. People go on either side of the road. They park. Well, they park wherever they feel like. <laughs> Look at all the, the traffic out here. <coughs> Tubingen's a first gear town. You can't get in sec if you ever get into second gear in town. This guy here just. All right, out. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, now look in your mirror. Good idea. Yeah. What a moron. Actually, I'm the moron because I'm here. I, I can't believe I'm wasting my time here. But the sound of a burger was so good. Now here, we're going to have to do this Philippine style. Oop, I had my spot right there. I should have took it. Now, Philippine style is... You just ease up into traffic until traffic has to stop for you. Don't wait because no one else does. Yeah, look at this guy here. Passes me on the left here at an intersection. Yeah, that's interesting. Here we go, second gear, my goodness. That sure feels nice. Here you got the BDO Bank, very nice place, super friendly uh, staff inside, they've helped me so many times with different things, look at that line there, that, that big giant line, that's all for the ATM machine, FCB Bank, that's a rural bank, and here's Metro Bank, that's one of the bigger banks in, in the Philippines. I came up here to use their ATM and I walked right in, no problem. Had to wait for one guy. There's a little watermelon stand and some fruit. Up ahead here, there'll be a whole bunch of fireworks stands on the left. Fireworks are big for Christmas and New Year's. I would never buy any ever again. They're such low quality, and I can't I, I can't tell you who's making them, but whoever's making them is making them to hurt people. They're putting super fast fuses on that you can't even throw them. You can't even throw them out of your hand before they explode. So you have to light them on the ground with a stick or something like that. Very very dangerous. At least that's my experience anyway. There's a firework stands there. Not a single customer. That's up there. One customer there. No, just amazing. And none of those people even live here. They come here from Mindanao, places like that. They go to every town. They put up stands. The same groups go to the same towns every year. But they're all from central Mindanao. If you know anything what that means, that'll tell you what they are, but I'm not gonna mention it. <clears throat> I don't need the hassle. All right, well back on the road again, I guess. <clears throat> 
I always rush when I drive down and I just take my time going home for some reason. Not quite sure why. Some sort of a psychological problem in my brain, I guess. Ooh, fourth gear. Had a little rain coming down. Looks kind of cloudy up ahead. Hard to say. We'll get more rain. Doesn't matter to me, of course, but I actually like driving in the rain here because it cuts down on about half, especially good pouring rain, it cuts down on about three fourths of the motorcycle traffic. <clears throat> they all hide to stay dry somewhere. friendly spider with me. Yeah, no, I came into town an hour ago. It was just bumper to bumper traffic the whole way for the last two or three kilometers into town. And it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning, so... It's nice out though. Out cruising around by myself, enjoying it. Marfi be with me, but she's in the hospital with Beth, Philip's wife. She had to go there this morning. I guess she called at three o'clock in the morning, but we were asleep. <coughs> Needing a ride. Marfie didn't hear her phone, or didn't feel her phone vibrate or whatever she has. We hope Beth's okay. I'm sure she is, but I hope she's okay. A little sprinkle right now. Marfie said she was dizzy, had high blood pressure. Um, was vomiting, had bad balance. Could be anything. At least the ha hospital in Talaboon is getting much better, so if it's anything bad, they'll send her to Todd Balearan City. We hope that doesn't come to that, of course. So get well soon, Beth. Take care, everybody. See you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.